Hello friends, in this video we shall have a look at a little bit of history behind the development of Python. The credit of you know developing the Python as a language goes to Guido van Rossum. He was a Dutch programmer. He you know developed this Python language when he was working at the National Institute of Mathematics and Computer Science at or in the Netherlands. He is a Dutch programmer. Now many of the people think that Python the language is named after the Python snake. But it is not so. According to Rossum himself, the name has been inspired by a very popular BBC comedy series in the 70s and 80s named as Monty Python's Flying Circus. This was the name of the you know, BBC serial which inspired Rossum to name the language as Python. Python has become an open source project right from the beginning. And invariably what happens in, an, in any open source project, many people get attached to this. But then in such case, the original you know, brain behind such open source project is many a times conferred a degree, which is called as BDFN, stands for Benevolent Dictator of Life, in the sense that that particular person here in this case, Van Rossum is still the principal author all the dis, all the you know final decisions are in the hands of van rossum regarding you know the future developments or future courses of action to be done in case of the python so bdfl degree is conferred on the open source project leaders many of the prominent software scientists are having a degree of BDFL like for example Linus Torvalds is a BDFL for Linux, Larry Wall is a BDFL for Perl and so on. So Rossum is a BDFL, benevolent dictator for life. Although Rossum started the development of Python in late 80s, its first official edition was published in January 1994 and the second one in October 2000. So, jumping from version 1 to version 2, what were, what were the major you know, en enhancements? Two major enhancements. One is providing a garbage collector and second is the support to the Unicode. This was added in the version 2. Python version 3 was released in, Python, uh, in December 2008. But you know, Right now, both the versions, version 2 and version 3 are simultaneously being maintained by the Python Software Foundation, the, the organization which is in charge of the Python development. That is probably because the entire functionality of Python 2 has not been completely ported to Python 3. So therefore, there is a concurrent development of the 2.2.x branch and 3.x branch. Right now, as on today, Python's, Python 2's, Python 2.7.12 is the current version of Python 2 and Python 3.5.2 is the current version in this, you know, stream, Python 3 stream. So, both the versions are available, both can be downloaded and both can be used. So, this was a little explanation behind the history of development of Python.